um, you know, look, a lot of times we're always talking about the do's and don'ts of digital dating on this show, uh, but what's right for a woman in her 20s isn't necessarily the best approach for a woman in her 40s. So here to help me educate everybody about dating at any age is the founder of the Smart Dating Academy, my friend, Bella Gandhi. Okay, Bella, let me ask you, in these different ages, what do you see as some of the differences? You know, you can make some safe assumptions that younger women that are in their 20s are going to be more comfortable using technology. Mm -hmm. But then, as we get a little older, we have some maybe bad dating experiences, we can become more cynical. But the most important thing to remember, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, is successful dating begins and ends in your mind. It's going to be how you're looking at the process mm -hmm. and getting positive about it. And then once you're positive in the right mindset, having a dating plan and then sticking to it. Absolutely. Okay, now, folks, uh, we got three women here. We got one in her 20s, one in her 30s, and one in her 40s. Now, they each have a different issue with digital dating. Destiny is struggling with Tinder. Tanya is questioning her online profile. And Renee is afraid to get online to find a man. So let's start with Destiny. Okay, Destiny, what's going on in your dating life? I'm a college junior and I'm looking for a relationship and like most of my friends I use Tinder. I have over a thousand Tinder matches and I've gone on some dates but no luck really. I went over to a guy's place to watch movies and by the end of the night he just wanted to get in my pants. So I find that most of the guys that I meet are just looking for a hookup. But I mean what can you really expect when you're on an app that's for location and looks alone? First of all before I look at your profile just let me say this. Just as a man Never, ever meet a man, and after you meet him, go to his home. <laughs> Never. Ever. Okay, Bella, we've got uh, Destiny's uh, Tinder profile. Here it is. Let's take a look. Destiny, talk us through what you have. Okay. So, as you can see, I try to be clever in my Tinder profile. I say we've all accidentally swiped left for the one, so this is just second choice. And then, P.S., I'm totally judging you off of your looks. Bella, what do you see going on here? So I love dating apps, especially for people in their 20s. They're free, they're easy to use, and the largest percentage of people using dating apps are people in their 20s. But you gotta be smart when you're using Tinder about what you're putting out there and then who you're accepting. So you're trying to be fun and clever in your profile, but remember, humor doesn't always translate well digitally. So this kind of reads like you're looking for a casual hookup. And also, about who you're accepting. If you are getting players, guess what? You're accepting players. So that has to also change. And remember, like Steve said, no ever, ever, ever going to anybody's house. And you also have a responsibility to do some screening. Tinder's fun. It's like left, right, swipe, swipe, lots of chemistry. But you got to take it off the app. Talk to the person on the phone. Trust your gut. Listen to what this person is saying. And if he doesn't sound like someone who meets your standards and your requirements, throw him back to the pond and do not go. Okay, I, I, I think, here's a mistake you make. You, you try to appear as though you're not desperate, so you throw off this aloofness. When you throw off an aloofness to a man, all he catches is looseness. Mm. So, you gotta be careful, because what Bella said is true. You're really actually, you're wanting someone to get into a relationship with. You want somebody to treat you special. Yes. You deserve to be treated special. Thank so you. So you, you can only present a special front. <laughs> All right, let's move on to uh, Tanya. Okay, uh, Tanya, what's your dating dilemma? I'm 30 years old. I've been single about five years now. I'm currently online dating, including your dating app, Delightful.com. You're on Delightful? I am. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Any day now. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, the longer I'm on there, it seems like the less people are contacting me. But I, I'm, lo I'm really looking for a serious relationship. I've only had a few dates. Help me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, that's what we're here for. So we've got uh, Tanya's profile. Uh, let's see what's going on. Tanya, kind of talk us through your profile a little bit. 
Well, basically, my profile is honest, and I post things about myself that I like doing, pictures of what I enjoy, and it's basically what you see is what you get. Okay, Bella, what do you see going on? Well, first, I think it's great that you're online dating. It's excellent for people in their 30s because that's when you're typically yeah. looking for a more serious relationship. So a couple things. Be on one to two dating sites, okay? And on any day from now on, your dating plan is you should be emailing three to five new people per day. And why? Because 80 to 90% of the emails that anybody sends out don't get a response. So it's about playing the numbers, but it's about playing the numbers smart. Even if you don't get responses, you got to keep going and going and going. And in your profile, a couple of things I would suggest to improve the response that you're getting. You want to look nice and approachable. You're a pretty girl. Take the photo off where you're not smiling. And then the picture with the blanked out man. You don't want any other people in your pictures. You are the product in cyberspace. So your picture should be of you and only you. And some of the text in your profile too, it's a little short, a little fragmented. I don't think it really does you justice. Be positive. Remember, if you put quality in, you're going to attract quality. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, this is from the male perspective. Looking for a casual relationship, friendship, Cool. she want to play. You're really looking for a relationship. So, the guy that's online looking for a relationship, he got to skip you over because you just want a casual relationship. There are lots of men online who is looking for the one. And if you just want a casual relationship and friendship, you lose. Next thing, these two pictures. Stop putting two pictures up, three pictures up, and you look different in all the pictures. You can't do that to a guy, because what a guy goes is, oh, wow, oh, hell. <laughs> and like Bella says, you're an attractive girl, but you can't look too different. Okay. And do like Bella said, and I think you have a lot more success. Okay. Really do, okay? Up next, we're going to find out and talk about the right tactics for dating in your 40s. We'll be right back. <laughs> with our Smart Dating Academy founder, Bella Gandhi, and uh, she's helping women dating through the decades. So now let's talk to Renee, Renee, who is 40. Renee, what's going on in your love life? Well, nothing at the moment. Um, <laughs> nothing exciting. I haven't really been dating. I'm 40 years old, and I'm a single mom. I actually have been divorced for 12 years. I had one long relationship that I had, and ended up being a cheater and a complete liar the whole entire time. So it didn't end well, so I needed a break. Okay. So now I'm looking for someone who, basically, I want commitment, maybe to end in marriage or something like that. And I've heard online dating is a great idea, but I'm worried because I don't trust the person on the other end. Or <laughs> who knows if they're telling the truth? It could be like mm -hmm. a serial killer or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping with your guidance, you can, I can get over my fears and test the waters and try it out. Bella, what does Renee need to do? Look, Renee is like so many women that are in their 40s, whether they're never married or divorced. She's afraid of heartbreak, and she's afraid of the awkwardness of online dating. So remember, successful dating begins and ends in your mind. What you really need to do to start this off the right way is adjust your attitude about the whole online dating process. Look, you have to tell yourself, it has worked for millions of people, and it can work for me too. Because when you start to think that, you're going to start to feel that, and you're going to start to see great guys. So once you feel good about the process, you're going to start to attract the good guys in. Then you need to have a dating plan and get yourself out on those online dates. But remember, I know you've had a lifetime of experience, a lot of experience. But when you're on those first dates, remember, just step by step. You don't have to disclose your whole life right away. Don't overshare. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> online dating, what, I've, what I tell women is this. Online dating doesn't say you're desperate. It says, I'm available. Online dating gives you an opportunity to be in front of more people that says, I'm available. And once again, you do not know where your soulmate is. Stop restricting his availability with your profile. So, um, Here's, here's what we want to do with you, Renee. If you're willing to try online dating, 
Bella has agreed to meet with you to create a profile. And what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you a free membership on Delightful.com. Thank you. <laughs> Renee, thank you very much. Tanya, Destiny, you look great. Keep doing what you do. It's going to happen. I want to say thanks again to Bella Gandhi. Great job with you, Bella. Hey, folks, we'll be right back.